All right, I got me some notes because it has been quite a while since we chatted and I didn't want to forget anything. So, um, if you don't remember, <laughs> I'm Michelle and um, our channel used to be called Farm Life Outfitters and so now you can probably see that we have rebranded to Shelter Mountain Farm, which is the name of our farm here in North Carolina. And there's a big reason for that so um, let me let me get into that real real fast to start with so <clears throat> you haven't heard from us in a while and um, it started with um, an accident and um, Sydney and this is our oldest um, Sydney and Adam my husband were involved in an accident on the interstate um, thankfully they were okay if you follow us on Instagram you probably have heard this um, you probably already know that um, they were transporting um, some cows two new dairy cows for our farm um, on the interstate and um, something broke on the hitch and um, the cows were killed um, <clears throat> it was tragic it was absolutely horrible um, I was in the middle of recording a podcast with my friend Marie um, we have a podcast called as you go and um, and I got a text from Adam I got calls from Adam and then I was like I'm, I'm recording a podcast and he uh, he said I need you to talk to me where we're, we were in, in an accident and um, so I immediately you know left the podcast and I said um, I've got to go and I said please pray um, so <clears throat> I knew Marie would be praying um, and I texted um, another friend of mine who is one of my prayer, prayer warrior friends and said please pray um, while I talked to Adam and so I just hear Sydney wailing in the background and um, I didn't know if she was okay. I didn't know if Adam was okay and he was just trying to talk to me just so I wouldn't be scared or what was going on. And um, long story short, um, you know, they, they saw it happen. They saw, saw the, the trailer flip and the, the cows um, killed and um, just a horrible horrible accident um, something that you never hope to ever live through or witness or anything like that and um, so as you can imagine it was a rough little time um, several months ago uh, I, it, when things like that happen it kind of puts puts your life in perspective you know it it makes you realize um, how you're spending your time it makes you realize um, you know where your focus is your attention and um, to be quite honest I didn't want YouTube to be it um, I honestly didn't even want Farm Life Outfitters to be it anymore so um, that was the beginning <laughs> um, and then through several other things I mean we we had a really amazing um, a really amazing fall um, with our business we did a local event that was just amazing we did um, Homesteaders of America in Front Royal Virginia that was amazing best event we've ever done um, we had a line out of our tent most of the time waiting for people waiting to check out and I had I had hired help for the event um, and we were as busy as we could we could be we I mean we rarely got to like go to the bathroom <laughs> like we were so busy it was a blessing it was such a blessing um, and um, Adam got sick uh, right before the trip and he was not himself for about a week before the event and then we didn't know if he was going to be able to go with us we all I had to actually we were going to pull a trailer um, to the event because we had so much merchandise to take with us well we're we're a little gun shy about about trailers at this point and um, 
so it, there was just a lot. There was a lot of emotions involved. Um, I thought I was going to have to go to the event by myself and pull a trailer, um, which I'm not comfortable with anyways, but I was like, I got to do it. You know, I got to do this for our, for our family, for our business. And, um, so Adam hung out at the Airbnb with the, with the boys, um, <clears throat> for, um, several days while we were up there. Um, he was feeling well enough to go, um, and do some things with us at the end of the at the end of the week that we were spending in Virginia um, and I was so thankful and um, but there was just a whole other level of stress that was involved in operating our business this fall um, especially after the tragic accident that we had had um, I do want to say a big thank you while I'm on here um, because I know some of the local people around here watch our channel and I just want to say thank you so much. Um, I have thanked you individually. Um, we have visited your houses and we have talked to you. Um, we have sent letters thanking you for your generosity during that time. Um, we had people that just loved on us um, financially. Um, giving us meals. I mean it was it was amazing and it just it rekindled that um, trust in that um, that faith in um, in human compassion for me. So I was just um, I just want to thank you for that. <clears throat> um, but uh, all that happened um, before HOA. I had a conversation with a very close friend of mine, and never ever had I ever considered giving up Farm Life Outfitters, ever. Um, it was not on my radar at all. And when I had this conversation with her and she said some things that I know the Lord pricked my heart with and I left her house and I was just like oh my gosh I'm supposed to give up my business and it had never ever crossed my mind to do so and um so from then on I was that's that was what was on the you know front of my mind as I was thinking about things and I was planning events and planning trips with the business and all that kind of stuff planning new inventory and everything and um, I settled into that decision really I mean we prayed about it I talked to Adam about it Adam was a little blown away that I had even considered it but he was actually I think kind of excited about it um, because it has taken a lot from me it's taken a lot from our family and um, the truth is uh, <clears throat> Adam had been trying to work his butt off to make an income from our our farm um, our homestead and I was working my butt off to make an income from my business and they worked together in some ways and in other ways it was just like we didn't have time to help each other we knew we needed each other's help in in our work um, to make it successful and to make it um, profitable but it was like we could not get together because we had so much to do individually on our businesses so um, anyways um i made the decision we you know i said gosh what in the world would that be like if i did not have the business and and all i keep thinking is freedom like i that is the word and i believe this is just going to be my word for the next however long but i keep thinking freedom um you know freedom to uh, enjoy some other things and uh, find out who I am again I feel like so much of my identity was wrapped up in Farm Life Outfitters that I'm having to rediscover who I am and what I like and what my interests are and that kind of thing um, I feel like I'm gonna be much more free in my mind to like focus on my children and homeschooling and um, I ordered a ukulele because <laughs> um, I I want to learn an instrument and I have tossed around the idea of several different instruments but I landed on a ukulele this week and so I ordered a ukulele that's gonna be my new thing um, I don't know if I'll ever play for YouTube but that's my new thing <laughs> I think I'm gonna love it um, 
um, I want, I have a, po a potage garden planned out just right off to the right here. And I'm really excited about that. We've got to get it tarped this week. Hopefully I'll show you guys that. Um, and honestly, I was so burnt out from what I was doing that I did not enjoy it anymore. Um, a friend of mine, Emily Toops from Toops & Co., um, when I told her about it, which actually I had told her about it long before I had even made the announcement and um, just to get her thoughts. And she, she said um, she thought that that was such a wise decision because she could tell that it was not my joy and I'm like wow you're right that was not my joy um, and I think that's the thing I want to like kind of live in marinate in right now is just um, finding joy in my everyday life finding joy in homemaking finding joy in homesteading, finding joy in cooking good food, finding joy in homeschooling and playing games with my kids and being outside and getting my hands in the dirt and, um, you know, creating a nice, beautiful garden space to like create, you know, food for our family, but also to just sit in and enjoy God's creation. And um, I'm really excited about it. I never thought that I would ever say that i was excited about laying farm life outfitters down so um also <clears throat> i thought we'll just lay farm life outfitters down when the kids get a little older maybe i'll pick it back up maybe it'll look different maybe it'll be something it won't be graphic tees anymore maybe it'll be something else i don't know um and um, I had several people after I made the announcement that I was closing my business it was like such a relief such a burden lifted off of me and um, I was settling into this new new season of my life and um, I had so many people reach out to me and offer to buy the business offer to buy the t-shirt designs um, that kind of thing and I never once entertained any of those offers I was just like you know I think we'll probably pick it up back up again so I'm not gonna I'm not even thinking about that right now <clears throat> and so I told lots of people no <laughs> and then there was a lull and I was just like okay this is it and then a friend of mine um, Meredith who I used to homeschool with in a co-op a while back um, who is still a good friend of mine um, and we keep up with each other um, she's local to me she reached out to me and said I'm really nervous about asking you this but would you consider selling the business to me I believe the Lord wants me to ask you that and um, she's like I will not be offended whatsoever if you're just like no you know um, please don't feel any pressure you know that kind of thing and so when I got her text and all the other people that had reached out to me I was like clearly no 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 when I got her text I had to pause because I was like, hmm, this seems right to me. Um, and I hope I'm not going to get emotional talking about it because um, y'all know I cry and I don't want to cry. On this video, this is a joyful video and it is, it, it's, there is sorrow and there is joy wrapped up in passing on something that you have built from the ground up. Um, and that you have loved um, up until recently <laughs> um, and so it there's just so much to that um, that I'm still working out and um, but I am very excited because I did decide um, Adam and I talked about it we prayed about it um, we spent a good amount of time talking about it and praying about it and then and then we were like yes we would like we would like to sell you our business so we would like for you to continue what we started and do your thing and um so meredith and her husband chris um, smith they have taken over farm life outfitters and um i don't know what it'll look like um i think they're going to continue to make beautiful cute comfy t-shirts for um for the customers and um meredith is a talented graphic designer and so I know she'll come up with some beautiful things um, and I don't know what else they'll do they took over our Instagram so they're they are farm life outfitters on Instagram and Facebook now and um, 
that that's the reason why we have changed our YouTube channel to Shelter Mountain Farm because I wanted to give them the permission to start their own YouTube channel if they choose to do so under the Farm Life Outfitters name. So I don't know if they will. I'm not like putting pressure on them because I imagine they might watch this video. Um, but you will see them when you are on social media as Farm Life Outfitters now. We are still on social media as Shelter Mountain Farm, although Adam and I um, kind of on a little social media break. So that is why i picked up the youtube camera today um we had some visitors here this week and they said it's been three months since y'all posted a video and i was like i know i know and honestly i didn't know if i wanted to pick it back up i just i just wanted a break from all the work things um <clears throat> that goes back this is like coming coming around again where i was saying that um i want to kind of marinate in this season of enjoyment and so before when when we were doing farm life outfitters um when i started it it was something i knew i would enjoy but it was for the reason of making an income for our family so that adam could come home from work um when um when i started the youtube channel it was there were several reasons, but one of them was a financial reason. The reason I kept doing it was because I want to build this up. I want to be able to make an income. This I, I want this to be an income stream. I'm just being completely honest with you guys. Um, a lot of YouTubers do that. I mean, they they already have businesses, but they add on a YouTube channel so that they can make an income from it. Um, just documenting what they're already doing every day and that kind of thing. So I just wanted, um, you know, in this season when I pick up a YouTube camera when I record a podcast um, which we have two podcasts and I'm, I'm I'm still trying to decide what we're doing with those um, we have a podcast Adam and I have a podcast that I believe we will continue um, as we can like not on a schedule not on a like we're releasing a new one every week you know kind of thing <clears throat> called the heart at home podcast um, these are all linked in the description if you want to check them out and you can catch up on the, all the old all the old stuff that we've recorded because we have had a lot of good stuff we've had um amazing guests on there my friend mag holler has been on there with us um kate from venison for dinner has been on there um we've had we've had awesome people and we've had great conversations and so i don't want to like let that go um also i have started a, i had started a podcast with my friend marie um uh, that i mentioned earlier uh, and that one's called as you go and um anyways i'm going to record some podcast episodes this week because i really feel like i need to update everyone on what's going on and then just kind of sit and pray about like what's the direction from here where do we go from here is this going to be a me show is this like where i just get to go and and sit down and have conversations with you guys about things that i'm dealing with in life or faith things or family things or parenting whatever um or you know am i going to take on a partner and i don't know what this looks like so um anyways i want this to be not pressure field I want to be able to pick up my camera and document what's going on to you guys without being like I've got to make this video today I've got to release a video today um, I think when that pressure is off then it will feel much more natural to me it'll feel much more enjoyable to be able to record these videos for you guys um, and I hope, you know, I hope that it'll, there'll be some sort of consistency, you know, um, but I cannot guarantee that I'll have a video out every week or whatever, but I hope you guys will stick around anyways and um, enjoy it when we do. And um, we, we would hate to lose this community because um, we, we really do enjoy you guys um, for the most part. We have, you know, nothing but kind uh people that follow us <laughs> and um yeah so we've met so many awesome people through youtube so i'd hate to give that up um let's see what else i have not been following my script at all hey but i've been doing pretty good on my list here without even looking 
Um, so in farm news, we gifted the kids a mini Jerusalem crossback donkey for Christmas and her name is Nellie and she's amazing. Um, I get a kick out of her every morning when she sees Adam coming <laughs> in the mornings. I hear I'm in the house and I hear her doing her <laughs> It's the cutest thing ever. She gets so excited as you can probably tell um, We've had a little sickness going on um, over Christmas uh, Sawyer and I actually had to sit out of um, all of our family Christmas things we were at home Adam had to take the kids. Uh, one of the kids' gifts was an experience gift, and so Adam ended up taking them by himself to that. It was just such a disappointing week, um, but praise the Lord, everyone is on the mend. It's been actually really terrifying. Um, um, Sawyer was having a lot of trouble breathing. Um, we we ended up having to, to intervene more than we usually do. We usually try to wait sickness out a little bit. Um, and uh, so now he is, we had to, we had to intervene with some conventional methods and um, it is what it is. Um, we are not against that. We praise God that that's available to us. Um, but overall, we do try to do things naturally. Um, so anyways, he's doing much better. Uh, we're all on the mend. It's all working its way out of here. And um, we're just glad that everyone is is better and I feel like this is the week after Christmas I feel like we're gonna have this is kind of gonna be our Christmas do over week so we're gonna we're gonna you know do puzzles and play games and play with all the stuff that the kids got for Christmas and um, watch movies and cuddle up and you know stuff like that so the things that we missed last week that we were so looking forward to we're gonna be doing them this week so I'm excited about that um, we are still working on my father-in-law's house. I will take you down there in a minute and show you what all we've been doing um, or what all they've been doing. I hadn't done anything yet um, to hold some things every once in a while, but <clears throat> um, it's going, it's going well. Um, I think it's going slower than they would like, but you know, we, we work on it when we can. Adam's got a lot going on. It's like, it's so weird because it's, you know, people are like, what do y'all do during the winter time? And I'm like, we like we were anticipating having a little bit of a break during the winter time and i i had had a break i mean adam i don't think adam's had a break you know so it's been really really busy um we started our tomatoes this week uh actually we started our tomatoes two weeks ago and they're cute i will show you those too um started some other things too that we're going to plant with the tomatoes um, some lettuces and things but um back in november we had our first harvest banquet um which i we told you guys about a while back i believe maybe we didn't i can't remember what we told you guys but i think we did um we had a harvest banquet here and it was just a big potluck with um uh, you know, we had people all over from all over. We had people in the community and then we had people come from other states to come down and um, and to participate and share recipes with each other. I just sent out the Harvest Banquet recipe book to all of the people that attended and um, with all the recipes of what they brought for their potluck. And um, we had a band um, playing and they were so talented and so good. Everyone was just amazed. Um, you know, lights were strung up. It was a bit chilly that night, but we had some heaters going and a fire going. Pumpkins, mums, hay bales. It was just like, I keep saying magical because it really was magical and um, we can't wait to do it again next year so if you guys want to go ahead and mark it on your calendars it's gonna be the first weekend in November of 2022 that we'll do it again and I anticipate it being much larger next year so um, we'll be talking more about that when it gets closer to time so that about does it um, for this video I made this long enough so thank you guys for sticking with me and for getting an update on why you haven't heard from us in three months and um i just appreciate you guys i appreciate you sticking with us i appreciate you emailing me and texting me and saying where's the videos you know where are they why aren't, why aren't you putting anything out there um 
I'm as, like I said I'm not on social media right now like at all like I deleted the apps from my phone um, I'm not browsing I'm not anything on social media and so you know you might not know what's going on with us um, otherwise so I hope to be able to update you guys this way and um, probably not do highly edited videos because that takes a lot of time and like I said, my time right now and my focus and my energy is going to be on my home. And it's going to be on my children and my husband and our farm. And we're excited um, to be able to bring you guys along still. So thank you for being here and we will see you next time. Bye. Hey, Jakey. Hey, Jakey. Hey, good boy. Hey, good boy. Hey, good boy. Got all the critters up here. There's Nelly. There's Nelly. Some lettuce started in my green stalk recently. It's doing good. We're in our greenhouse. We hatched quail for the first time. They're so tiny. I had no idea how little they were gonna be. They're so cute. And here are our tomato babies. They're beautiful. Makes me so excited for this year. Got some other stuff going as well. This is Swiss chard. these piggies are up for castration <laughs> this is the holding pen not much fun but something that needs to be done I forgot to mention Sydney's rabbit business she uh, she started her own rabbit business this this summer and um, she is breeding rabbits and selling the babies um, she picked up this one right here from Joel Salatin's farm when we were up there in October. And, um, let's see. This is her mama, Lop, and her daddy, Lop. And they recently had babies that she actually got to sell as Christmas presents. So that was really cool. She sold all of the babies. They went to re really great new homes. There's like so much to look at. Look, here's a unicorn. Yeah. 